Hello friend, this is Sartha. Hope you all are good and fine. So, in today's lecture, I will tell you about the region split in edge space. So, before going to the region split, let's talk about what is region in edge space. So, edge, we know that edge space is a big table and uh, here the tables are very big in size. So, these are stored in the parts and that parts are called as the regions and uh, that regions are served by the region server that uh, for uh, region server and store files uh, that i will use uh, later in this lecture so i will i have explained you in my previous videos so uh, let's come to the regions so that regions uh, consist of uh, row keys and they are identified by the row keys uh, and uh, in each region uh, row keys are present with non overlapping range and so when the region splits uh, so here region consists of the store files and when the size of store file become more than the configured size it will split into two regions okay so here uh, look into the screen they, there is a configuration property h page dot h region dot max dot file size so in this property we specify some size and whenever the size of the store file will become more than that particular size on that time system just uh, system uh, split the region into two parts so that the region is called as the parent region and that the when the region is split into two parts that the split part are called as the daughter region so so next is how the region is split happen so first of all uh, it system create a directory two directories and in each directories it create single file structure and then it close the region and after that meta table uh, comes into the picture so what is the meta table meta table is simply uh, a table which contain the region index region information so here uh, look into the screen so he, this uh, this is the meta table which represent the parent region so here it contain all the information of that particular region so the main uh, important thing is that here look into the row row part here so row 500 that 500 is the starting row and again here row 600 is there it, it is called as the and and ending row so uh, the reason is start from the row 500 and end the, to the row 600 so uh, so what we have done we have just created the directory and associate the files and then we uh, make that uh, directory and file entry into the meta table and link that file and directly new newly created file and directory with the meta table entry so how the meta table entry will be made so here uh, look here this is the two regions this, uh, this these are two daughter regions and look into the first reason the start key is row 500 and end key is row 550 so in the second reason start key is row 550 and end key is row 600 so here uh, if we look into the meta table entry so uh, the two daughters reason will be created and this time the equal reasons will be created equals in term not in terms of the size equals in terms of the total number of row key that will be represented so once everything is made and this all things become successful then what we will do we will just um, make the reason online so here uh, what what happen our reason become online and our newly created uh, directory is associated with the uh, meta table entry and we will now after that uh, this update into the meta table so that uh, old entry old files and uh, old entry into the uh, meta table like uh, pa parent entry will not remove instance nearly it will remove when the 
measure compaction happen so in the measure compaction all the entries and all the reference files of the parents parents reason will be removed and uh, here the the daughter reasons are created and these are just assigned to the reason server and they will start serving this uh, request so that's it from the my end